tubes. Of primary concern to these people is that the unit will drop on the floor. Not that your child, or Gary, is strangled to death on the cord. Come on! What did we get from Stubbs today, Gary? Oh, huh. Game Box Power 801 G3. That's a pretty cool design. It's pretty jazzy. Looks like a child threw paint on it. Uh, 3.5 LCD. Uh, paint. Lake Blue. Someone got stabbed. Uh, let's see what's in the box. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh. That's a lot better than I was expecting. That's actually a really nice looking uh, handheld. That's actually better looking than I thought. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Has a battery in it. Ah, get that, get it back in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. We got a, a user manual. Retro FC Play Vision Portable Pro Duke. Designed for many hours of playing fun. Small and portable, take it anywhere. Read the contents, I will. This video out with this. Don't abuse it. That's good advice. You don't want to really hurt hit, abuse, anyone. My certificate, it's not even filled out properly. Come on, what do we have in the hand? Got a Game Boy DMG style speaker grill over here. B-A-Y-X. Eh. None of these feel good, I don't know what R means, maybe some event menu. These buttons aren't great. You have your on, off on the bottom, little volume. Headphone jack on the top, I hate that. No, not a headphone jack, that's for TV. So I plug this headphone jack thing, it's not a headphone jack, up top. And then I plug this into the TV. And then I play this on the, okay. It's a function I'll ever use. Let's take the screen protector off. I think, I think it's supposed to be taken off, yeah. Are you getting that, Gaz? Look at that. Oh, beautiful. Well, it looks like there's still Screen protector up top. I think the screen itself is peeling. Well, what are you gonna do? Focus, there it is. It has that uh, 3D printed texture. But just on the front. Let's turn it on. That's what we're all here for. That's what y'all wanna see. Me suffer. Oh, that's loud. English. Uh, none of the buttons work. Let's start. Super Mario Bros. Shut. Shush. How loud does that get? Ah, it's so loud. A speaker works. 801. Whoa. Is this the biggest one we've ever had? What do we got? Let's just try Mario Bros. Oh, the music is way too fast. Try it again. What's R button do? Reset. All the way back to the main menu. Okay. Ah, oh, it's it's running way too fast. Uh, <clears throat> I can make it through the first stage of Mario Brothers. I swear. It's like Turbo Jump. There it is. What? A is Turbo Jump, and B is. Regular jump? What? I'm rethinking my entire life now. What is the point of this? Well, how do I shoot fireballs? Oh! This is Turbo B, and this is Turbo Y. So instead of having B and A, they have B and Y, and these are the turbo versions. I hate that. It's running so fast. It's hard to play. What the hell kind of emulator's on here? Ah! This is weird. It's really hard to judge your jumps. Everything's just too fast. Whoa! It's too fast! It's probably running like 20% too fast. It's weird. I really want to peel the rest of this screen off. I don't think it's supposed to come off. I don't like the control scheme. Not one bit. 
It's not that uncomfortable. It's like roughly the size of a, like a 353M, maybe? A little bit smaller. Mario was emulated very poorly, but this isn't too bad. I don't know how much Stubbs paid for this, but it might have been too much. It's not the worst one I've ever had by far, but it's not great. Dang, ninjas, get off of me! I will say, this seems like it has a better selection of actual NES games than any of the other ones I've seen. And they're in alphabetical order. That's pretty cool. There's a bunch of different Marios. But do you have mower? Mowing! Yes! Classic game. Okay. Run over a diamond. Need to get some gasoline. Oop, fix. Get out of the way, Rusty! Told you kids get that dang dog out of the yard. Ooh. That's not English. Nictopanama. Beat up some street toughs. I'm determined to. Where's his gun? This game is so weird. A bunch of dang hunks. Can't get me up here. What happened? Let's try Tetris. Mm. <laughs> this one little speaker, it's not too bad. It's tinny, but it's NES games. NES games. Well, I can see the stuff's on lit up in there. Is that how the TV signal escapes? Just straight light. Are you getting that gas? Uh... Alright, let's play some Tetris. Uh oh. Uh, what did the buttons do? Uh. No, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. The control is really hard to get used to. For all the gripes I'm having, it's actually not that bad of an experience outside of the controls. And, uh, I died. So I feel like the emulation of the NES is actually pretty good outside of that first Mario game that ran a little fast. The buttons aren't great. This weird 3D printed applique. It's just odd. It's like the... Is the whole shell 3D printed and they just forgot to sand down the top? Maybe not, I don't know. Just listen. And then the back. Overall, it's not that bad for a Famiclone. The buttons, serviceable. D-pad's not bad. Start and select. They start and select things. This reset button takes you back all the way to the front, which isn't great, you know, because there's 800 games to go through. It seems like there's a lot more real games on here than um, some of the other ones I've had. It has TV out, which is neat. It has a green LED on the front, lets you know it's on. What happens when you turn it off, you might ask? Well, the, it goes away. Actually, the, the color on this, it's pretty good saturation. It's pretty crisp. Viewing angles aren't great, but they're not terrible. 800 some games, maybe six or seven of them will be good. There's not much to say about it. It's a Famiclone. It plays, it has a rechargeable battery, which is pretty neat. It has TV out, which I guess if you hate your kids or you're trying to teach them a lesson. I don't know, what do you think, Gary? Do you want this for Christmas? Is this your Christmas present? It's this or the hose? Yeah, okay. Well, I'm gonna box this up and give it to Gary from Santa Claus. Uh, so it's just, it's been me, Zoo, your old buddy Zoo and Gary and uh, Quinlan's upstairs and they can't all be winners. Sometimes you gotta, Sometimes Stubbs sends us things like this in the mail and you're contractually obligated to review them.